Alright, today as you can see at the top of your page, we're going to discuss area models and partial products. We have done partial products already, correct? Yes. We're going to do that by using a model. So you're going to need your colored pencils here in a few seconds. Let's read the problem that it's asking of us. How can you use a model to break apart factors and make them easier to multiply? That's what we're going to learn how to do this morning. Let's read A. Outline a rectangle on the grid to model 13 times 18. Break apart the model into smaller rectangles to show factors broken into tens and ones. Label and shade the smaller rectangles. Use the colors below. Okay, so you have how many different colors we're going to use? Four. Four. Mine looks white on my page. Yours is actually what? Blue. blue. Okay, so make sure you have a blue when it's time for that. Mine looks white up here. Okay, now, if you were reading through A with me, you heard a lot of different directions. So we're going to do one at a time so we do not forget anything. The first part said to outline a rectangle on the grid to model 13 times 18. So you're going to take your pencil to do the outlining. And we are going to count 13 boxes going which direction? Down. And then we're going to count 18 going sideways or across. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our counting. So if you know anything about these little boxes, what is to this line right here? 10, because this is a flat that we're used to seeing in base 10 blocks, right? So already to that first line is 10, so we're going to go down three more, correct? Okay, so I'm going to draw my little dot here so I know where it is. See what I did? I can draw all the way to the top. And now I need to go over 18. So I know if I go to the next darkest blue line, I already have what? 10. And I know that I'm going to have 10 if I go all the way to the other side. So how many back am I going to go? Two. Two back from the 20. So I'm going to mark my little dot. And then I'm going to draw my line all the way across. I'm going to go ahead and start down here by the 13 and go over to the 18. So basically I am making a nice rectangle. It's 13 by 18. You're going to get out one color at a time here as we do this. So now it says to break apart that model into smaller rectangles to show factors that are broken into tens and ones. Now, if we're breaking this up, we want to do it in the easiest way possible. So, if I'm breaking this up, what is an easy way to do that? You have 13 times 18. So, how can I break this up to make it a little bit easier on myself? Remember what we always want to go to if we possibly can. Valerie, what are you thinking? Well, you're doing 13 times 18, so you want to split up which number most likely? You can split up 18. So how would I split up 18 into the easiest way to multiply? Think about what we have here. If I use what we use for our guide, is that going to be the easiest way? What was my guide that I used? I knew that this line stood for what? How many times do we like to use tens before anything else? A lot. So are we going to use 10 as one of our numbers? Yes. yes, we are. So we are going to make sure that we use 10 and 8 for the 18. So that means we're going to break this apart. So you need your pencil again, and you're going to come down at 10. Is everybody with me? And you're going to make this 10 right here. See what I'm doing? So I'm breaking up the 18 into 10 and what's left? If I broke it up into 10, what's left? 8. 8. So this part here will be 8. Okay, so if I did that, then what do I have on this side? 10 and 3. So if you can break them up into 10s, do that. That's going to make your life a little bit easier. Now it's the time for us to label and shade the smaller rectangles. So it's going to do 10 by 10. It's going to be what color? Blue. Blue. That means you're just going to shade. That's not blue. It says it was, but it wasn't. There we go. So 
you're going to shade this in quickly with blue. So grab a blue. It doesn't matter what color blue as long as it's some shade of blue. What's your 10 by 8 going to look like? Green. Green. So that means it's over here, right? Because this is 10 and 8. 10 coming from here, 8 coming from this side. We need to know exactly where our numbers are coming from. Yellow is what? 3 times 10, which is here. 3 times 10. So this is 3 times 10. And then purple is? 3 times 8. 3 times 8. Is yours look purple? Yeah, I'm sure. So quickly get those shaded the correct colors. Make sure you understand where they're getting the blue, the 10 times 10. The green is the 10 times the 8. The yellow is 3 times the 10. And your purple is 3 times 8. So you're using your area model, or your array, as you've been calling them before. Now we actually need to do the math. They did the first one for us. Their blue was 10 times 10, so that gives us what? 100. So what's our green? 10 times 8, which gives us? 80. So go ahead and fill that in. Then we're going to do the yellow, and it is 3 times 10, which is 30. And then our purple, 3 times 8, which is 24. And then we need to add all of those together to get our grand total. Again, if you can't add them in your head mentally, where are you going to write them? To the side. You don't have the right color, borrow one from someone. And what you got? 234 is correct. So when you add all of these together, you will get a grand total of 234. So that means that your 13 times 18 is going to give you 234. So as you break them up and do your partial products, that's what these numbers are right here. Okay? You broke up each one into a different square or rectangle to make your partial products. All right, let's look at C. It says to draw the model again, but to break apart the whole model to show factors different from those shown the first time. They're going to do the same thing. Label and shade the four smaller rectangles and find their products. We're going to record the sum of the partial products to represent the product of the whole model. So basically, we're doing the same problem, but we're going to split it up differently. Does that make sense? So we need to start with what step? Outlining, what's my problem? 13 times 8. So we're going to do the same thing again. Down 10 plus 3 more. Then I'm going to go over to 18. Outlining the same exact thing I did the first time. Again, you need to think about how can I break up 18 easily? Sometimes you need to think if there is a number that I can double to get that because then I'm going to have the same answer twice and not have to figure as many things, right? So is there a number that can be doubled to make 18? Yeah. Well, what is it? Nine. Nine. So can we use nine and nine and then we have two problems that are the same? Okay, so we're going to break this up into 9 and 9. So you know where 10 is, right? Mm -hmm. So you need to make sure you're doing 9 instead of 10 this time. So you're going to have 9 there. And then that means that the rest of this should be 9 because you had 8 and then that 1 from over here, right? So you should have 9 on this side and 9 on this side. When you break this into 9, that makes this be 9 over here because you have 8 and 1 more line. 
So if I have 9 here on this side, what do I have down here? You should have what left? Four. And I don't have that, so I need to get that. So make sure you went down enough. I only went down to 12. See how easily you can check to see if you have it right? When you don't have what you're supposed to have when you're finished, you'll know that you didn't go down enough. Now I have four. Do you see your four? Okay. And I need to go all the way down. Okay, see how you have your four boxes once you go all the way down at nine? All right, so let's do the shading. We're going to use the same four colors we used over here, okay? So the first one is nine times nine. What color will that be? Blue. Blue. Shading in your nine times nine. What's green going to be? What's my multiplication problem for a green color? Nine times nine again. You're using the number from the left with the number from the right. And you should be highlighting the same things. Okay, what are we going to use for our color yellow? It's four times nine. Because you're using the number that is next to it first. So purple has what multiplication sentence? Four times nine. So when we do our math, we only have to figure it one time. You can figure nine times nine one time and have it twice. And you can figure four times nine one time and have it twice. Some of you need to make sure you're not coloring. You are shading it as quickly as you can. I'm not going to check that every box is colored blue or green or yellow or purple. Let's do the math. So our first problem with blue is 9 times 9, and what do I get? 81. So that means that my green is also going to be 81. So you'll have 81 twice. What's my next number I'm going to get? It's not 9 times 4, it's 4 times 9 because you have to look at the number on the left first. What is 4 times 9? And do I have that twice? So I'm going to make it go twice. Now you need to add all those up. So if you are somebody that needs to do that, you can write it over here on the side where you have some space and get the total. Just to tell me what they got. Cheyenne, what did you end up with? 234. It should be exactly the same as the top one because we used the exact same model to start with. We just split it up differently. Yes? Okay. So that is how you will break apart one of your models into partial products. You need to know where you are getting your numbers. So I'm going to talk about this before you flip the page. You all know how to do your 13 by 18. You're always going to go down with your first number and across with your second. Everybody got that? Okay, then you're going to break it apart into whatever makes it easy. Guys, I will tell you that three different people in here may break it up three different ways. Is that still okay? Yes, as long as you're breaking it up to where you can do the multiplication problems. Okay? When you're doing that, you're breaking it up into parts, so you can see that your blue section, I need all eyes up here, is 10 times 10. Do you see where I'm getting my numbers? Because you're going to have to do this later. My green is 10 times 8. I use all of the numbers off the top. My yellow comes from here, which is 3, and 10 from above. So I'm always using one number from the side and one number from the top. Following me? Yeah. So my purple is 3 times 8. Does everybody see where we're getting those? Because you're going to have to make them, and you're going to have to find the answer to them. Yes? You need in order. 